Righto. I am going to sell my ute. Um, we built this when we first opened the shop. Um, I haven't shown you the build because I didn't film it. There's a few photos and stuff. I can probably put them up. So, um, yeah, so this is what this ute looked like. When I first had it. And then, yeah, we made the turbo kit. Okay, so here's a picture of the plates and stuff I made for the turbo kit. And then we lowered it. And then sort of the flares went on. And the wheels. And it sort of t took shape. Okay. Um, I'll cut to a bit of footage now of um, when we painted it. Okay, and done all the texture and stuff. Okay, so early 80s, 85 model Ford Courier Ute. We um, chopped the um, rear guards and the front guards and dropped it pretty low down on its guts and we've got some flares for it. But you'll see that as she starts going back together. We um, put a little turbo onto the diesel. We stuck the battery up underneath the floor at the back. Mitchell, a mate, has been working away at this for a while. We've done a swap deal and he's welded up all the holes down the side. Um, I've got a little bit of rust to repair in the tray. We're just going to glass that over and I'm going to put a timber tray through the back. But um, tonight, just get that done and just get it ready for paint. Hopefully paint in the next couple of days. But I'll um, give you a few updates along the way and um, yeah, see you come together and go from there. Right, yeah, stuck some glass in over those holes. A couple up in the top there and there's a couple of other little ones in behind the wheel wells. Can't really see them now, but they'll be alright. Just hit them with the other deadener stuff and mask it up now and get in here. Deadener. Right, here you go. Comes in a litre bottle, you buy a special gun for it. Just hides a lot of things in the tray. Comes up good. I'll show you what the finish looks like soon. So yeah, it sort of come together pretty quickly, but she's a pretty cool sort of rig. Okay, so it's just got your um, standard 2.2 litre turb um, diesel in it, okay, that we've put a turbo on, okay. He's just pulled the dash out for me now, which is sitting in the back there, because um, I'm going to get stuck into that now and bog it up and flock the dash, which is, you know, in rally cars, how they have that felt stuff on the dash to stop the glare. I'm going to do that to the dash to make it neater and tidier. The door trims are all grey in it now. I'm just going to do vinyl paint on that hood liner because it's still in pretty good shape. You can see how good the ute was. Like the, the floor's not rusty at all. It was just a full grandpa spec ute. And um, yeah, Justin's just here now pulling a bit of the engine bay apart so we can paint in around the engine bay. And yeah, the turbo's on now, the intercooler. And it's got a, the front spoiler on it. See, it's, a, it's got a Volvo front spoiler on it, which is pretty cool. The flares are just off um, eBay. Okay, they're just, a, I think they were $99 eBay flares. And it's just pretty cool. Like, I just, I love this thing. I put it up for sale this week on Facebook and had heaps of people commenting and people that sort of wanted it. But as always, Facebook, people just cry and ask you stupid questions. One bloke was, um, can it be registered? You know, and if you're ask me that question a modified car is not for you like if you need to ask can it be registered of course it could be registered anything can be registered you've just got to be a bit flexible in what your expectations are but yeah so she's pretty low it's got a mad side pipe hangs outside there and i had these seats in it which are there those sass seats they're going back in it so our mission tonight is that dash. Okay, I'm gonna get that bogged up. You can see on the dash there where the speaker hole was, how the dash is sort of um, like that, which is just rubbish. Um, I'm gonna use body filler, clean that up, 
and then hopefully get that flock tonight. The bottom section of the dash, the other section here, I'm just going to vinyl paint that black and that could go back in which will tidy that off. I've got a standard sports wheel somewhere, which is pretty cool for it. Um, must be here somewhere. Where? Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're over here. See that steering wheel? It's that standard one there, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so, all right, I'm gonna get stuck in and between us all, we'll work out how to flock a dash because I've never done it before. Um, but I'm pretty keen to try it out on this ute. That way when we've got a car that's really good, you can do that. So yeah, that's the that's the courier. It's a pretty cool sort of rig. Um, this will be a video that'll probably run over a few days. Um, I'm also selling the Statesman. Um, yeah, we got that out, got it running, and it can go. I'm not going to do anything with it. I've got a heap of bills at the moment, so I'm gonna yeah. See, she's. I'll get this out though and give you a bit better look. I took it out in a drive the other day. I think the fuel filter's blocked, like it runs, and then when it shifts, sometimes it cuts in and out, but it seems to be fuel, not ignition, so. But yeah, she's, it's quite a nice car, that. Like, I, I do like it, but it's just, you can't keep them all, you know what I mean? And you got bills to pay, you just have to sacrifice some of your, some of your stuff. But anyway, all right, we'll get this set up, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Righto, time to get flocked. All right, so what we've got, the flocking kit comes with your adhesive glue okay this is your applicator so you put it in there and it just presses and it comes out and this is your flocking stuff i cut the bag and it's like a yeah you'll see um that's a little funnel thing so you cut that out i think and make a funnel so you can get that into there instructions and a brush for your adhesive so i've started to bog up that speaker hole okay i'm just waiting for that to dry now it's pretty getting there, so that'll be good. And in the meantime, I'm gonna grab the other dash pieces out now and set them up so I can paint them with the vinyl paint. So the rest of our stuff's ready to go when, um, when we're ready to put it back in. So yeah, I'll let that dry. I'll keep sanding that up, get it prepared, and hopefully we can flock this tonight, which would be mad because that way it'll dry and the boys can put it back in tomorrow. So another step forward on the little ute, it'll be good. All right. I should change this channel from King of Toe Crew to um, Chasing Daylight because it seems like I'm always working in the afternoons trying to get this stuff done. All right, where's where I'm at, dudes? Black vinyl spray, which is not that stuff. So, okay. Black vinyl spray. Painted those pieces to go over the column. Up here, I've used gloss enamel on the um, piece that goes across the front of the windscreen, which will, um, that come up quite well, actually. It's going to look pretty good sitting across the back. Okay, here's our the bottom section of our dash with our glove box. It's come up quite well. Not a big fan of vinyl painting things, but it, what else am I gonna do? Like, it, but it will look really tidy. This I'm actually starting to get a bit excited about it. Okay, I've bogged up, I've bogged up this speaker a bit. I'm gonna do a second coat now of body filler. It's starting to fill the holes up all right, and it's pretty solid. It's fixed that crack up and made it solid. The boys have um, pulled all the wiring apart to paint the engine bay and one of them's a fuel shut off so they're just fixing that so we can get that back out of the workshop tonight but um, I'm gonna keep going with this get as much done as I can but yeah right yeah looking good eh awesome I love this little ute it's just a beast all right I'm gonna do this one-handed but recently I've realized that I take for granted that people just know how things work right body filler all right so there's your can of bog or body filler okay it just looks like that like gooey stuff a bit of cardboard that's an applicator okay and then this stuff here is the hardener okay so you get the sorry about the one-handed guys i would get the guys to help but they want to knock off and i don't blame them because they work hard every day okay so you put a bit of hardener so that amount there about that much hardener will do it okay and then you just let's try and you mix it together okay how am i going to do this I'll do it on the ground. All right, here we go. Justin's jumped in on the, oh, here you go. Yep. Okay, so you just mix the body filler together till it all comes uniform. This isn't the best body filler, simply due to the fact it was in the boot of a scrap car that come in. Okay, see how it's all starting to mix through nice and even. Okay, and the rule of thumb when you're doing body filler, the less that you put on, the less you have to sand off. Okay, so here's our job. You just basically smear it in. If you've got a spot like that with a hole, 
jam it in there, like goo it right in, and then it'll stay in there. Okay, so that's that. That piece up there on the top, we'll just reform it. Letho spent a fair bit of time at a panel shop himself. I've never really done any time in a panel shop, but I've, um, yeah, had a bit of a bash at everything over the years. I think you can sort of tell that, can't you? All right, so I'd like that to be a bit neater. I don't know, something like that anyway, guys. So that's body filler. Um, yeah, so you just, Put your stuff on the thing, bit of hardener on it, mix her up. You hope Justin doesn't fall over with the camera and then put it in. And putting it on less, better than bulk on there and it not drying properly. There you go, body filler. That's, yeah, most of you probably know, but some of you don't. Alright guys, I finally got back to being able to work on this um, dash. Okay, my lovely assistant Savannah here is going to help me today. So what we're going to do is I've bogged that up as you saw. We've got to scuff the whole surface so the glue adheres to it. So we're just going to get this sandpaper, which is a uh, 180 grit, okay? It doesn't actually matter what it is. You could probably use real coarse stuff because we're just going to be flocking it. So Savannah's going to get stuck in and she's going to scuff up the whole surface. Um, and then she's going to hit where we've done um, our speaker thing repair with a bit of etch primer. And by then I'll finish painting the horse plate that you can just see now. There you go. How's that for timing? Anyway, all right, cool. So she's going to get stuck into that. We'll see how we go. I'm going to flock that dash. Righto, guys. So in the kit you get this glue. Okay, there's not a lot of glue there. You get a bit of paper to make a funnel. Okay, and that bottle. And it's got like a little nozzle thing on it, right? So you don't get that, I got that from Bunnings, I think the tray was a couple of bucks and that was two bucks or something, so, and that's to help put it on. It does come with a small brush. Okay, so we've got that, that and that, and that brush. This is your flocking stuff, okay, and that is what the funnel's for, so we can tip the flocking stuff. It's a really light powder, okay, so probably hold it away from yourself a bit, Savannah, so you don't get it all over you. So you put that into your thing there without covering your daughter, or you do cover your daughter, I'm not too sure, we'll work it out by the end. But yeah, so that's pretty successfully going in there, so we'll just keep an eye on how full it is. Looks like you can fill this container thing up twice. They, they do say that one of these kits does a um, one dash, so, and this is a pretty small dash compared to say a WRX or a Falcon or something like that. So, yeah. I don't know, I've never done it before, but it's just, it looks like a pretty cool sort of finish, you know? So actually there's only enough really to, Put that down there. Okay, so our plan is that Savannah's gonna do the brushing bits around the little edges and I'll do the roller bit. Alright, so in theory that you must yep. So that's gonna come out. I don't know what's gonna happen here dudes, we're either gonna fix it or yeah, see, yeah, so, alright, so you get your brush ready, Savannah? Yeah. Okay, so if you want to do your edges, I'll do my bit. Doesn't need to be thick, it just needs to be on there, apparently. Yeah. They reckon it takes about 20 minutes for it to dry, something, so... We will see what it does. Yeah, it looks like we got plenty of glue. I might even just do a second coat on this. I was a bit worried. You don't know when you buy these kits whether you're going to get enough gear, but this kit looks to be pretty good. I bought it on eBay. I can't remember how much it was. But I'll, um, if I can find where I bought it, I'll um, actually put a link up for you guys or a screenshot of what I bought. And, um, that way you can find it too and see if you can wreck your cars as well. You can keep kicking that until it falls over if you like. <laughs> it's really involved into it.
I don't know whether more glue is better or worse or what, so. It just sets the fight, I think. Yeah. Oh, this is going to look flocking good. Who thinks we're going to flock it up? Savannah's here, so I get to do dad jokes. Did you get jokes anyway? It's like an occupational hazard. Comment down below if you guys have ever flocked anything. Or flocked their, your dash at least. Oh, hey, you look I wonder what else we can flock while we've got glue and stuff. Maybe I could glue a moustache on myself, just go like that and do a big Dad, flock. Just, Savannah's getting all embarrassed that we've got to go out today, apparently. Well, if you're going to do it, you have to do it properly. You need a and everything, okay? Just... <laughs> Savannah's got the big flock. Yeah, I've got the big flock. Yeah, you've 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 got the so if that's any help for you guys, I bought a foam roller, not that like big, um, big dopey one. You know, like the ear with the sheepskin sort of turnout. Try and fill in where I haven't bogged it up properly and sanded it properly with glue. Look at that, me. All right, a flocking we will go. Flocking we will go. So, in theory, in theory, then you go put that on. It's looking, walking good. What we might have to do, I think, is there too much wind in here or not? before it gets all covered. I suggest that if someone was going to do it, maybe put a sheet down underneath and that way if you're losing some of your, your flock, maybe it would um, catch it and you can reuse it because I'm just spilling it all on the ground. So. Maybe even paint the dash first, like because this was brown. So if you um, painted it black first, perhaps, then the coverage would be better. So that way, if you miss a few spots, it'll um, hide it. You know, like does that make sense to you guys? Can you guys see that? Like it's um, it is starting to cover quite well. We might um have to get a the light perhaps maybe Savannah can grab that lead light over there and um, yeah if you want to grab that lead light actually I was a little bit worried there over nothing guys I think that it's actually gonna be all right we've got more than enough there to do the dash it was looking there grim there for a bit Did I put enough glue in it? Right. Yeah, you definitely need a lot of good light so you can see where the glue is and isn't.
It's just, um, where's that paintbrush, mate? To me, it just doesn't look like there's enough sort of gluish sort of stuff in here. You can, can they see, or are you just standing there for no reason? Why don't you walk around there so you can actually do it? Yeah, that's probably a better idea. then it didn't help much. Whoops. When you hit your dash with the actual thing, I'm guessing that's not the sort of effect you're going for. At least we'll be able to see if um, where I've actually touched that up with the glue halfway through, whether you should do that or not, which I'm guessing the answer is no. So I might be able to, I might actually save some of this and some of the glue because I might be able to touch it up. Like I don't, I don't know. Like we'll tr give that a try. It's probably better for us to try on this cheap dash, don't you think? Try on the cheap dash on the courier, than do a like an expensive WRX dash or something like that um, to see whether we can touch up. You know what I mean? Whether you can go back in later and add some glue, and I can't see why you couldn't. So we might. Um, Sort of pull the pin on it here and um, come back in and try and touch it up. Well, I don't know to be honest, guys, whether that was a success or just a mess. So we will let that dry and we will see what it looks like. From there, I suppose. But there was definitely enough gear in the kit to do it. I just don't know if I put enough glue on to do it. So we have um, we have glue left, and we have um, blocking stuff left. Like there's it's probably that left in glue. I could probably tip some of this back in as well which I'll probably try and do in case we have to redo the whole process again so um, and we'll clean all this up all right what do you reckon so far do you reckon I've done it right someone that's done it before is probably looking going dude you need to put more glue on but um yeah all right, all right guys cool. we've got back here to this dash now I don't know if you can see it or not I want to try and save some of the stuff but um, how did it go? Well, oh, it's stuck on there okay. Oh, it's stuck on there okay. Like it's... I don't know. Sort of... I don't know. I might clean this off, off the camera. Okay. And um, put it to the stuff in the bag and I'll show you what the... Show you what the outcome comes out like. But looking at that there, I reckon it's going to be alright. We'll get it out in the sun and give you a good look. But, yeah. All right. All right. I've um, cleaned the excess flock off, right? There's a couple of little bits and pieces. I think my, my tip is to paint the dash black first, okay? And that way, 
if there are any little spots such as here where it's not quite covered right and don't be afraid to lay the glue on heavy like you can see there I've just missed a little spot and it's a little bit not so good there but if you lay the glue on lay the glue on really heavy okay but you've got to make sure also that the glue is um, is flat okay so paint it black heaps of glue but make sure the glue is on flat and then I think you'll be cheering now I'm gonna try now to do touch-ups with it okay so that way you guys will also know whether you if you miss a spot whether you can touch it up and blend it in okay this is what it's all about not everything I'm gonna do is gonna work first go but that to me is a success especially for this courier like it's gonna look pretty cool in the courier so um, yeah I don't know it's pretty good I'll do some touch-ups flock it in see how it looks and put it in the truck all right she's gonna look cool but yeah so you can get different colors to flock things different colors to paint it whatever color so yeah that's the result what do you guys reckon shoot me a comment tell me what I've done wrong mad